Luis and Kate have two video games they want to play. They plan to spend exactly 45 minutes playing the two games. They want to use an equation to express the relationship between the number of minutes they spend playing Super Bologna Man and the number of minutes they spend playing You Have to Cut the Wire. Can this relationship be represented using a linear equation? So let's see if it can. So let's define some variables for, let's define one variable for the amount of time, the amount, the number of minutes, so the number of minutes they spend playing Super Bologna Man. Let's define that as, well, let's just say that's x. So x is equal to time playing, playing Bologna Man. I'll write Bologna right here. Bologna Man. And let's define y as y is equal to the number of minutes they spend playing you have to cut the wire. So it's time, time playing. I'll just call it the cut the wire. I'll just call it wire for short. So if we have the minutes they play time playing Bologna and the time playing cut your wire, if I were to add those two together, so if I say x plus y, I'll write the plus in a neutral color, x plus y, what does this need to be equal to? The time I play Bologna Man plus the time I play Have to Cut the Wire. Well, if I add them together, they, they want to spend exactly 45 minutes playing both games. So this is going to be equal to 45 minutes. Now, we have set up an equation that, that, that represents the, that relates the time playing Bologna Man and the time playing You Have to Cut or You Have to Cut the Wire. But now we have to think about, is this a linear relationship? So one way to think about it is the real giveaway for a linear relationship is if you could write it in the traditional form of a line. So if you can write it in the y is equal to mx plus b form, where m is the slope of the line and b is the y-intercept. So let's see if we can do that. Well, if we want to do that here, we could just subtract x from both sides. You subtract x from both sides, you get, so let's subtract an x over here, let's subtract an x over here. So negative x plus this and then subtract an x there. Well, that's going to cancel and you're going to be left with, and I'm going to try to write it in this form right over here, y is equal to 45, actually let me do it in that same color just to make it not be confusing. y is equal to and I'll write the negative x first, because we have the x term right over here first. So y is equal to negative x, negative x plus 45, plus 45. All I did is I switched these two terms around. But you see here it has that form. And you might say, wait, wait, what is m here? I see that b is 45. Well, if I write negative x, that's the same thing as writing negative 1x. So this is definitely a line. I was able to write it in this form right over here. So can this, can this relationship be represented using a linear equation? Absolutely, absolutely yes.